So this is the gutsy uh, engine fault diagnosis part two. Sorry, I don't really have any editing software, so I have to shoot these videos in little bits and pieces. So you can see I've had to strip quite a bit off the bike in order to get access to this head and get this head off. I've had to you know, loosen, remove the silencers, loosen, take off the exhaust header pipes, um, take off this carburetor to come out of its uh, spigot here. And then I've got the rocker cover off. I've removed the five cylinder head bolts, taken off the tappet gear, off the head here, and these two large bolts here, and the head is now loose. Um, it's not. It's going to take a little bit of easing off, but I, just as I was about to do that, and straight away you notice something unusual. Um, those of you who know a little bit about four-stroke engines, here's the two valves. That's the inlet valve. That's the exhaust valve. And with the tappet gear removed, both the valves should just the springs should just pull them closed. They should the valves should both be closed. Um, okay, I don't know gutsy engines that well, but for me those two valves in any other engine I've seen ought to be at the same height. If you look here, you can see they're not. You can see that the spring on the exhaust valve, in fact, there's no tension. In fact, I can lift the exhaust valve out at all completely, and that suggests to me that the exhaust valve is actually broken. So we'll just continue with that. And, oh dear, there you are. This is live on screen. You can see that the head has completely snapped off the exhaust valve. Now, is this chicken and egg? Is this the spark plug? End of the spark plug breaking off, falling in, damaging the valve, or in hand has indeed a valve broken and and then clipped away at the spark plug hole and caused part of the end of the spark plug to be mashed up. Don't know that yet. We can straight away see at the very least we're going to need a new exhaust valve, but that valve now will have almost certainly embedded itself in the piston crown. I think we're going to be in a piston, possibly a rebore. This is, as I feared. Um, it's a quite a, a major job. So, yeah, we can just take that exhaust valve spring out. There are two springs. Uh, yeah, I mean, the springs will be fine, I'm sure. But we've, we've lost our exhaust valve. No wonder it was rattling and clattering. Um, but at least the engine hasn't actually seized.